This is the guy of Georgia Outdoors. Today I got my mom, dad, wife, and we are headed to just outside of Macon, Georgia to go striper fishing at Lake Juliet. Striper can be notoriously fickle fish. Sometimes they're deep, sometimes they're shallow. So instead of trying to figure that out on our own, we have got uh, Jeff from All Seasons Fishing Charters, and he's gonna be our guide today. He's gonna take us on the lake, 3,600 acres. He knows this lake as good as anybody, and we're gonna see if we can put some striped fish in the cooler. Sunrise, dog a snoring. Hey Jeff with All Seasons Guide Service. Uh, do charters on Lake Juliet for striper and hybrid. Juliet, it's a nice lake, uh, real clear water, 3,600 acres, um, 25 horsepower limit. So we've got good fishing on the lake as far as no jet skis, no big horsepower motors running around. Mainly using blueback heron today. Um, trying to find the schools, trying to find the stripes. Typically, if I'm in a situation where I'm 50 foot of water, I'll be about midway trying to get them. They always feed up, so I try to be about midway uh, for the fish. We got are them heron? Blue back heron, yes sir. Pull it up, slowly pull it up. Pull it back down and up. Yeah, look, watch me. Down. Down, now pull up. There you go. Reel down. Just don't give it slack. back here and hook through the nostrils we're going down about uh, 40 feet you know we have these uh, steps down our rods we're going down about 40 feet right here he's watching them on the screen and kind of gives us an idea where to go all right we're gonna lock it in right there now we wait there you go. Have a look. I'll tell you what, come up here, fellas. Alright, so reel down. Yeah. Slowly pull up. Put your left hand on the front there. Put your left hand here. Give me a little better. Reel down. And then slowly pull up. Oh. <laughs> All right, looks like you get to eat too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch 
Good luck, good health. Come on. Come on, Mama. All right, Ma, get on him. Baby, mine is on. You can grab mine, okay? Let's get some more bait on him. Hey, I'm, baby, I'm fine. Real, there you go. Real down. Real as you go down. That's it. Now lift up. And real as you go down. There you go. Thing, Ma. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There you go, Ma. Big Mama can see too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, that was Look at it. He's over there getting ready. He's getting back. <laughs> he's, he's, he's getting back at it. Faster now. He's getting back at it. Look at it. All right. Awesome. Why didn't see yours in there, Blake? <laughs> <laughs> hey, mine's the biggest oh, though. Look at it, I don't mind if mine goes under, I'm gonna let my wife reel it in, so. That was some hard work. You know, it's June and the weather was 57 degrees this morning, so it's unseasonably cool. Those uh, really messes with those fish because sometimes they like cooler water, sometimes they like warmer water. But Jeff did a good job. He took us all over the lake. Uh, he really put in the work and we ended up catching some striper. Uh, we're going to clean them up in just a minute and fry them up because that is the best way to eat any fish. I want to take a minute and give a thanks to uh, Dryco for providing me the deck boots in this video. I've worn them for about three fishing trips now. I really love them, comfortable, and they get good grip on the uh, deck when you're fishing. So check those guys out. I'll put a link in the description below. All right, we are back here about to clean up our fish and then I'm seeing another crew pull up and we've got my brother and his wife pulling a boat. They're about to clean some fish. So we might have a good old fashioned fish fry this afternoon. Nice. I'm assuming y'all got some fish today? Yeah, we did. We tried to catch shiners, live bait, were unsuccessful. Um, we actually stopped while the fish were Whoa. just getting right. Well, between the freshwater fish, the bass, the, the striper, we're gonna have a good old fashioned fish fry around here. We're gonna clean them up. It's a male there. The other one we cleaned was a female. That one's a male. You can tell by the, uh, the gonads. And there's some pretty big rib bones right there. Boy, that bucket keeps getting away from me. We're going to take a knife in just a minute and try to trim some of that bloodline out. That's uh, that's gonna be a little distasteful, but we're gonna trim that out. There's a uh, another one right there, so we're gonna take the fillet knife and get some of those bloodline out of there, see if we can trim it up. Just got over here to my brother's house, and if you watch the channel any, you know that he is the king of frying. But let me tell you something, if you wanna fry some fish, go ahead and get you one of those Bayou Classics. It really changes the game for frying a bunch of fish. He fries this fish pretty simple, salt, pepper, seasoned salt, a little bit of garlic, and batters it in flour. And uh, you gotta let the fish speak for itself. So we're gonna go over there and do the official Guy to George Outdoors taste test. I'm just gonna do a pure taste test. Um, we're actually making fish tacos, but I think for this sake, we're just gonna taste the fish straight up fried. It's big, flaky uh, piece of fish. Um, everybody so far said it's really good. So here we go, we're gonna do the taste test. Oh yeah. That is really good. It's actually a lot juicier than a lot of other fish. Those big old flakes in there, it's actually got a pretty good chew to it. Oh yeah. That could see that really, really good on a po' boy. That would make a really good, because when you eat a fish sandwich, you want a fish that can hold up to it. And that is uh, really, really good. Oh yeah. 
If you haven't eaten striper, you should. After eating a couple fish tacos and pounding them out, um, that striper tastes a lot like a uh, spot tail bass to me. Excellent eating fish. It stole the show tonight. Those tacos were great. I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a great time making it. If you're interested in booking your fishing trip, hit up Jeff with All Seasons Fishing Guide. He did a really good job for us. We uh, appreciate the effort, what he did for us. So if you would hit that subscribe button, really helps the channel out. We're kind of struggling a little bit. We need the views. Uh, share it with someone who may watch it. But until the next one, this has been the unofficial, no doubt incomplete guide to Georgia Outdoors. Georgia Outdoors. Let me get you.